Hi Gemini, it's Cherry. So here we have the Gemini marker for our month of June. I am connected and happy birthday to you for Geminis in June. I have a lot of June birthdays in my family. So what we're doing is this twin flame reading, um, similar to the general reading that I put, just put out a, a few days ago where we're matching up the Divine Masculine with the Divine Feminine and just different feelings, thoughts, hopes, and actions. I use this kind of um, template for my general reading and we'll go with this too again for the, um, for the Zodiac readings. So this is going to be our masculine side and this will be the feminine side. It can represent male or female, querent or cross watcher, however you want to view this, wherever you want to see yourself. Um, you can also, if you don't like the title of Twin Flame, you can exchange it for word soulmate, future spouse, or however you want to see that as well. If you are someone who feels complete in yourself and you're not matching up with somebody, this could just be like, two sides of yourself, your masculine and feminine side, too, for a lot of people that can represent that. So however you want to use this reading, it just relax and enjoy it and take whatever messages come to you. So let's see, um, for traditionally, we're just I'm just going to say his pronoun for the masculine, hers for the feminine, and just stick with the male and female, and um, but um, definitely change that up in your mind if you so choose. So let's see, for the Divine Masculine, what's kind of the base of the matter here for, well, we have a little bit of separation. We also have staying optimistic, but it is your soulmate. Your twin flame is, is a type of soulmate as well. It's like the best soulmate. It's the highest soulmate. So I feel like there, if you do, if you might be in separation now and it might be coming out of it or you might be going into a separation period um, whatever it is just realize it, it's important to stay optimistic positive and think um, positive thinking and faith will bring you together will bring your romance this is your one this is meant to be you're not confused or um, you know you're not in, I know a lot of people go in doubt, especially during separation phases, and it, you might think that you're losing your mind or something, but you're not. This is the one. <laughs> so that that might help some of you out there. I know it's not, seeing the separation card may not feel so good, but um, it definitely could be something, an experience that you're going through right now that you will be coming out of in June. So we'll have to see in the cards what what that could mean so let's see on the feminine side the divine feminine what is the underlying factors here for the divine feminine I usually just like one card but those I you know I'll, I accept them if they come out all three <laughs> I think soulmates the most important card to know though for the masculine that you're not crazy this is your person And it, like some of you might be have been asking a yes or no question. All right, so for the feminines out there, your dreams are coming true. I mean, we had workplace romance and marriage pop out too. I'm not going to count those because this one was definitely on top. But there is a chance for some more permanency or for some commitment. The workplace romance indicates not just work. It could be work, but it could also represent the fact that you have a... Um, a common cause that you or might find each other in a common place that of common cause you know you just might you know recognize that one next to you and realize oh <laughs> I thought I saw you there you know so have faith because something very special is coming through a miracle of sorts I feel this is a very Cinderella have faith kind of situation for the feminines out there okay so let's get started with the reading so, what are the Divine Masculine's feelings towards his Divine 
feminine <laughs> in the month of June. Sun, moon, rising, and other placements. Let's see. What are the divine masculine's feelings? Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my... All right, let's see what this is. All right, so his feelings are feeling slightly left out. <laughs> uh, like wanting to, maybe wanting to be part of the game and feeling like you can't be in the game. It's funny because this card came out from my friend who's who is attached to a Gemini and she actually is like a soccer mom. So um, so that could be for for the masculine wanting to be with his soccer mom woman, you know? Like I just, you know, he, I wanna be part of the game. I don't wanna be left out here anymore. I wanna be in the game with my people, with the ones, you know, with the ones that I love. So the exclusion is saying, sometimes, you know, you're forced on the outside and excluded, kept on the other side of the fence, left for longing, maybe a little bit of envy too, but no fence, however cruel, can last forever. So these fences come down, the, you know, the warm heartedness comes back and, you know, things start to look better and brighter. All right, so those are the feelings. The feelings are feeling left out, which are legitimate enough feelings. Okay, <laughs> let's see what are the divine feminine's feelings in the month of June towards her masculine. Let's see what the divine feminine's feelings are. Okay, and she has, very nice, she has the Three of Pentacles. So the Divine Feminine here feels like she could build on their relationship, like they could create something together. They're, they are the, you know, two plus one, you know? And so a lot of times the three kind of throws us off, you know, we feel like third party or third thing. But in this case, it is the thir third thing is the creation between the masculine and the feminine, what they create together. So for an example, here is this beautiful tapestry that they created together. But if you notice, there's a child there. So maybe their ultimate creation was creating this beautiful child that they have together. So there's all kinds of creations that the the twin flame masculine and feminine can create together and that the fact that the workplace romance popped out just briefly for the feminines over here is trying to tell me that that you're you have a you know you're destined to have a common cause where you work together you will also you'll be lovers you'll be you'll be in union heart body soul and mind but you will also have a common work destiny together a, a common cause to to help people but you will also have maybe have children together or create things together and so that's what she's feeling she's feeling like there's going to be cooperation there's a sense of community some kind of teaching and learning and sharing and listening and teamwork and there's just no limit to what you guys can manifest together. So you both can manifest together. So instead of feeling left out in the cold, like like the masculine is feeling, the feminine's feeling like nothing can, can keep us apart. No fence, nothing. We can manifest this together. So what is the divine masculine thinking? Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> The divine masculine thinking, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Let's do this. So he's jumping straight into the let's tear down these barriers and let's let's be together. And the four of wands is the twin flame card. It's happily ever after. It's joy. It's festivities. It's celebration. It's it's everything that you know you dream of of coming true. It's just. Your dream's coming true, basically. It's pure happiness. And there is a moment for creating something to last. And no one to, you know, um, it's, it's enjoying these moments, you know. We, 
it, it'll be, it can be an eternal moment, it can last forever, but it can also be just a moment of, as fleeting as a kiss. Whatever it is, though, enjoy that moment. But I feel like, you know, there there is a sense that you guys are creating something together. And this could be alluding to a marriage or something happening in the, you know, like it's the wands, the four of wands is more of a passionate and a temporary thing where pentacles, like the, the ten of pentacles would be, you know, living together. But I feel like maybe this is just the masculine actually thinking differently. Like I was feeling left out, but that's just silly of me where I could really see us as making things together, growing together, being being together, living together, loving together, creating together. And that's exactly what the feminine wants. Okay, so let's see what the Divine Feminine is thinking about her twin flame, her Divine Masculine, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Arising in the month of June. And we've got very nice, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. We're like a firm foundation, stability, growing things again. You know, there's this there's this solidity, this feeling of, of um, permanence and stability and the desire to have something stable. It also represents the beginning of a new adventure, adventure and venture, new task, like the beginning of, of I just see work again, like you guys are gonna, definitely going to work together um, and planting seeds for the future and, and the great potential for success and manifesting power. This is ambitions and prosperity and I, I hear property as well and the physical foundations, like an actual foundation of a house too. And I'm thinking too, um, this the feminine over here feels very earthy to me. She's very earthy and the masculine is um has some earth but he like he's the see how the 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 earth that came out was the five of pentacles he's he's still not um 100% uh has incorporated the mundane the physical world into his thinking and that's why he you know that's why sometimes he feels left out because he's not seeing that picture very clearly but he he grows into it by he has to grow into it by using passion and the fire energy and eventually he will also i think go and in, get into the earth and stability energy as well you know there could be just a little bit of um fear of commitment on the the masculine side possibly but here we have with the four of wands this kind of an acceptance list yes let's let's be together so let's see what the masculine's hopes are in the month of June. What are the masculine's hopes? All right, very nice. He is hoping, his hopes are to really become the emperor, to come into his own, to be able to provide for the feminine and give her everything that she needs. You know, he wants to be her definite, her divine counterpart. It's all about planning and building. Like, yeah, she's, she, she, he must have picked up on her wavelength. She's like, I would like a home. And he's like, okay, let's build a home. <laughs> he's like, I got the plans ready. I got the, um, you know, I got the blueprints. What, what do you like? You know, like, do you want a garden? So that's exciting. You know, he's actually thinking of building a home for you, the two of you. And if, if speaking to the feminine here. <laughs> so he's, so... The masculine is definitely feeling an emperor energy and wants to build a home. Let's see what the feminine, what the feminine's hopes are in the matter in the month of June towards her divine masculine. We have the moon. So her hopes are that it's interesting because she She's a very a material person. She's she's been in her in this need for the tangible, for for to see things, the see things come into um, reality. You know, um, the proof is in the pudding. And what else do I hear? Um, 
seeing is believing and that's her that's always been her motto her way you know seeing is believing but she is now going into the believing is seeing she is creating her abundance by believing in it first and she's tapping into this moon energy to do it like this is a bit of um she's growing too like psychic connections and and connecting with um with source and spirit and manifesting and connecting with her divine masculine too through through uh through these kinds of telepathic communications and and um mental types of communications you know so so that way he doesn't feel as he doesn't feel as left out like he feels more connected to her because she's she's using his um yeah, I am connected. <laughs> She's using his style and his method of communicating. And that's very exciting for her, very thrilling. Um, and him, I mean, <laughs> that he's like, they're seeing each other in the same way. All right, so, um, so yeah, the moon can sometimes be things that are hard to see, that are ambiguous, that are illusion, that are hidden, or that are in the subconscious that I feel like um, it's all about, but it's going to, you're going, the feminine is going to turn it into trusting her intuition and facing her fears and using that unconscious mind to connect and not to constantly build a wall of fear or suspicion or, um, or worry or distrust, you know? So that's really good. Okay, so her hope is that she's she's able to conquer these these um, fears and these thoughts in her head that that you know that that keep popping up, and she realizes this is her own doing. You know, this is not her masculine's doing. All right, so let's see what um, what are the final actions on both sides here. Okay, let's see what what are his actions. Whoa, you've got the Page of Pentacles. Interesting. It looks like he's he's uh, it looks like Jean Valjean. Like he's stealing. A this is Jean, this is the actual Jean Valjean. Uh, I mean story. The story goes in Les Mis that he's pretty. He goes to jail because he stole a loaf of bread because he was hungry. You know, this is kind of like the Aladdin story too, like stealing from the rich to give to the poor. Um, I'm real curious to see what this says in, in Gregory Scott's deck. And we'll have to pull another, but I feel like that's so funny that the Page of Pentacles came out. So let's see. Page of Pentacles is indulgence, material yearning, the lack of of the simplest things can put us in distress. It's only when our basic needs are somewhat fulfilled that we can look forward with confidence. Right, so if if the masculine is feeling like not his basic needs aren't met, it's hard for him to take an action. So he, he also is picking up on feminine's, a little bit of feminine's distress or distrust, and by by sensing that sometimes he's afraid to act because he doesn't know if she's going to be on the other end if he makes a move. All right, well, I don't. I feel like this is kind of, this would be in the fears category if we had fears. See, so we have hopes, but I didn't pull out the fears. So let me just, I'm just going to make a fears category. So this is his fears. <laughs> that she won't be there. Now let's see what his actions are. That, that you know, that he would make an effort. You know, he doesn't want to come to her either um, without his basic needs being met. So maybe he just feels like there needs, that he needs to be more than what he is. Okay, but then you got the chariot. So that's definitely a move in your direction or in the feminine's direction. Like he really, he ha he'll come full circle. He'll think about his Jean Valjean <laughs> moment, this feeling of lack, this feeling of you know, maybe he's just putting himself in her shoes, you know, because cause she's the one that's that want, keeps wanting to go there, like, to the subconscious and think, you know, what's he, you know, 
maybe there's he's never going to you know come around or maybe this is never going to happen and she's she's working very hard to get out of that lack mentality and he's almost reflecting her lack mentality but i feel like he's gonna his actions finally are going to be in the month of june coming out of that making this is right makes right so we had you know here i was saying i was saying um what was I saying? Seeing, so we hear the the phrase, seeing is believing. And here we have believing is seeing. She's flipping it around. She's saying believing is seeing. And here, instead of saying right, um, might makes right, we're saying right makes might. So it's like the right thing to do makes you brave and makes you want to act towards it. So sometimes what is needed is just to take that step forward with confidence. It's a brilliant step. Only taking that step forward eliminates the doubts and the, the fears and the emotions and, and this misbalance. And it puts you into an action mode and makes you have to just follow through, right? All it takes is that first step to then, okay, that's it. Past the point of no return and then you're, then you're there, basically. I'm hearing songs here. Oh my God. Oh goodness. Okay. So, so now let's see. Well, maybe we should get a fierce card for the feminine. I feel like this was sort of fears, hopes and fears mixed together. Like she's working on her hopes and she's, she's overcoming her fears. Let's see what her actions are. The divine feminine Gemini in the month of I was about to say February. <laughs> I even had my thanks to my friends. I I just caught got fixed that thumbnail for but oh yeah, nice. So I sometimes I, I, I just have so many things so many things in my head at the same time that sometimes the details get overlooked. Okay, but here we go. The divine feminine is in beautiful action mode. Her action is Sunny, bright, smiling, enjoying, like, this is an attitude of gratitude. She has abundance. She has love. She has happiness. When she's in this beautiful attitude, she's attracting everything towards her that, that's good for her, that she desires. And this is both she's going to achieve, maybe with, and especially with her divine masculine, in the month of June, spiritual and material satisfaction and personal achievement inner peace and she's it's just going to be a celebration then I feel the tangible the physical celebration this is energy of a successful harvest too and contentment and also feeling the harvest makes me think that something is going full term towards the fall the fall is going to be a very beautiful warm time of year too even though um a very strong energy is happening now with the okay with <laughs> with the super moon eclipse because it's an eclipse it's an energy that's lasting all the way towards october or for six months okay so this beautiful eclipse energy power is lasting and the the saturn in retrograde happens to be six months long as well and so or around that time so those two working in conjunction are bringing something very powerful into in the fall that I think by fall everyone will have a nice established situation you know growth maybe maybe somebody's building a house now and it'll be finished by the fall that could happen so wow a new house <laughs> um, maybe I should put in the title the Emperor asked can I build you a house <laughs> Anyway, this is a beautiful reading. So let's let's take a look at what your charms have to say. All right, we'll just get a little droplet. <laughs> the flower fell out over there. Look, we have Jack Skellington. And so it's a very unusual type, an eccentric kind of person, maybe a Halloween type man. And then the 31st is definitely a Halloween number. And we have the, we have a miracle and we have the heart, a nice steady, stable heart. Look, we have pixie dust. So I'm going to get you a little pixie message. And we have the rose 
um, this, I feel like sometimes the rose makes me think of Beauty and the Beast and how that last rose falls, they have to say, I love you, and then this transformation comes. So it could be something like that. It's written in the cards. The cards are very important, you know. It also could represent a tarot reader out there and an artist out there as well, or people who are in, in you know, in, this, in a very similar field. We have the, the cup here celebrating drinking um, and peace and intelligent communication. So, a miracle is coming. <laughs> a miracle is coming. Let's see what else is coming. Let's see, what does the, what do the fairies have to say? We've got arrows. Direction is yours to choose today. Your inner light will guide the way. Very nice, you guys. And I love how that this is also a, it's, it's a tapestry, but obviously it looks like um, a street light, you know, stop, go, or, you know, slow down caution wait those are all choices right choices within that tapestry so you can read that too however you want to see that and maybe there you know there's just certain times and certain timing to do certain things and if it's not the right time then just wait for the right time you know and turn to something else in the meantime but i definitely see a possible um, home being built and um, you know the material and the spiritual coming together in the month of June so I hope you like that faith trust and pixie dust